Okay guys, brilliant job. That comeback there against Lille was superb. Amazing first half. We need to do that. Both legs coming up against Liverpool in the quarterfinals. Okay, we've waited a long time to get some revenge on Liverpool. It's been seven years since that Europa League final. Let's show them what we're all about these days and make our way through to another semi. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 175 of Who's Civic Heroes here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up. And today's episode is the Champions League quarterfinal for 2036. We are taking on Liverpool and as well as that, as you can see on screen, we do have the next gen list for 2036 as well. So if you are looking forward to today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but we are starting off today's episode with the next gen list for 2036 before we do look forward to the quarterfinals of the champions league if you missed the second leg of the first knockout round against Lille yesterday i'll leave a link to that in the top right corner big comeback there and also a big new signing here for the next european season as well but this is what the next gen list does look like for 2036 not actually too much to discuss from this list this season unfortunately none of the players who do look any decent have contracts expiring so we can't approach any of them to sign for us here at Volslingers and no new signings made this time around from this list but we do have five players on the next gen list this season which is not bad five out of the 50 are from Volsinger. A quick look at them because some of these players are currently out on loan away from the club. The highest ranked is a player in Abazi. This is Krishnik Abazi. We got him not too long ago out of Kosovo for just under £1 million. Quite a promising left winger who is rated higher on this list than Christian Allegard. I do think Allegard at the moment is a better player, but maybe the people in charge of this next gen list think that Abazi is going to end up being a little bit better than Allegard will be, but he is currently out on loan at Sassuolo in Serie B, getting some good game time for those guys. Allegard still at the club. He is ranked 30th on this next gen list. Another left winger next up on the list is actually a recent new addition to the club. We signed this guy on a free transfer. This is Steven Garcia, 18-year-old centre back out of Jamaica. Has a little bit of potential. Picking him up on a free transfer did seem like a good bit of business, especially at 18 years old, so if he does become something useful, he will become homegrown at club. And in nation, also on the list is Gabriel Capan, who we signed not too long ago, or just about around the £8 million mark. He is very, very promising in the centre-back position as well. And to round off this list is another young left winger out on loan away from the club. He is at Generation Foot, and that is the Senegalese left winger in Ousmane Diop. We signed him a few seasons ago for around about £20,000, so that already looks like quite a good investment as he's just made his way onto this next gen list in 49th place. But that is what the next gen list does look like for 2036. Apparently it's headed up by the Scottish Mbappe there in Irvine. But we do have five players on the next gen list for 2036, albeit this time around. Not able to sign any other players off it on a free like we sometimes have been able to do in the past. But going forward a little bit further in time off the back of when that next gen list did pop up and we are about to take on Liverpool in the first leg of this Champions League quarterfinal. This is our home leg as well. So we want a nice result here to take into Anfield. Hopefully a cushion lead just in case things do not go to plan there in front of that raucous crowd. But we've played two games off the back of that very impressive win in the second leg of the first knockout range today against Lille. We picked up a 5-1 win against Valerakovic with most of our first choice players backing up in that game again a little bit leaky at the back there domestically which is slightly concerning but we did pick up a fairly comfortable win like we did against Shana and before that Adam Saki continuing some great goal scoring form there with another hat trick and then off the back of that we took on Phil Kier again we put out a fairly solid first team for this one with a week before our next game in the Champions League against Liverpool that was actually in the final because we did make our way through to the knockouts and we took on Phil Kier and picked up a very very comfortable 6-0 win there again Adam Saki with yet another hat trick and that means that we have picked up our first domestic trophy for the season here at Volsinger 
already and hopefully we can build on that nicely. We do have a super cup in between these two legs in today's episode where we are taking on HK who were defeated in that other semi-final in that deal of a car by Phil Kerr before we beat those guys quite convincingly in that final but we are taking part in the quarterfinals of the Champions League today. Thankfully no injury concerns coming out of those later stages of the League Cup which is good so we've got all of our players available should be putting out pretty similar team to what we did put out there against Lille in those last few episodes to start off this week but looking at the early results from the first legs of some of the other quarterfinals that have taken place one big result there Arsenal take a 4-0 lead to the Etihad Stadium for the second leg of that quarterfinal so Man City well and truly on the ropes there Juventus and Man United are also tied up at one all albeit that second leg is going to be at Old Trafford so that tie might still be up for grabs you'd probably slightly favour Man United in that one so it might not be a Manchester club potentially who we do play in the final if we do get there this season but we are about to take on Liverpool and if we get past these guys today we will take on the winner of Chelsea and AC Milan in tomorrow's episode but Liverpool we had a quick look at these guys at the end of yesterday's episode, still got a few familiar names in their team, the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Giovanni Reina and Benjamin Sesko up front. In particular, playing five at the back under Thomas Tuchel, of course. This is a team who did defeat us the only prior time that we have played against them, albeit that was all the way back in the 2029 Europa League final. We have come a long way since then. I think we've improved quite a bit. Liverpool, not too sure if they've improved much if at all so hopefully we can get some revenge on these guys they are still fifth in the Premier League just outside of those automatic Champions League spots and hopefully we can make our way through to the semi-finals of the Champions League for a fifth straight season as I said no injury concerns but what that does mean is that Jonah can make his way back onto the bench for Hans Voss just think he's a little bit more reliable than Hans Voss is currently a little bit more suited to playing out on the left when we can bring on someone like Heiko Kunze out on the right as well. So I think it just gives us a little bit better balance in our squad with Jonata stepping in there for Hans Voss. But that is the only change from those first two games against Lille in this season's Champions League knockouts. And we'll come back shortly with the team sheets from my arena as we try and take an advantage to Anfield for the second leg, taking on Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinals. And here are the team sheets for this first leg at my arena. There we are full strength for Jonana making his way back onto the bench as we mentioned. So hopefully we can take somewhat of an advantage back to Anfield Liverpool with a 5-2-2-1 there. Most of the players who we did bring up before are in that team. And hopefully we can start to get some revenge on these guys for that Europa League final all the way back in 2029. And five minutes into this one, we do have our first highlight. Trent briefly was in position there, but a bit of a loose first touch does mean that Herrera gets the ball back for us and we get that out to Redenko Crollo. They are going to be quite deep at the back here, quite solid with those five that they do have back there. So it might be interesting to see how we can break these guys down as we do look to play out from the back. Ben Venu Bayer, who has scored quite a few important goals this Champions League season, was on the ball there and we steadily try and make our way up towards the halfway line here in this first highlight of this home league. As I said, pre-match would very, very much like to take a lead into that second leg at Anfield, hopefully by two goals. That would be quite a nice one. I think that would put us in a fairly safe place and hopefully we can continue our form from that second leg against Lille in yesterday's episode. Nice ball over the top here for Adam Saki. He will score yet another goal, the assist. From Lasana Dombier, and it's only taken six minutes for us to pick up where we did leave off in yesterday's game against Lille, and that makes it 1 0 nice and early. A perfect start here. That's a nice ball from Lasana Dombier. Saki just gets in behind those centre backs, and one of the wing backs there for Liverpool is playing him onside, puts that into the bottom left corner. 1 0 Volsunga, nice and early in the first leg. And only five minutes off the back of that first goal, Liverpool do have a goal kick, and they look to play out from the back here, hopefully. We can get possession back and try and make it 2-0 nice and early. Get that cushion goal that we will be looking for going into that second leg. Albeit we nearly got possession back there. Good header one, but unfortunately Agatigare just beaten to the ball there by a Liverpool player. And they might get something going here on the counter-attack. Sesco, nice ball up there for Carmelia. I think he might have been offside, albeit the shot was blocked. And play will continue. Carl Wallen will pump this deep and it goes straight into the path 
of Sipka at the back there for this Liverpool team. And they get this forward to some of the more familiar names in this team. And Alexander Arnold finds a bit of space here down the right hand side, puts the ball into the mixer. A shot there from Carmelia. Good save from Carl Wallen. Keeps it at 1 0 after 12 minutes. And that is half time in the first leg of this Champions League quarter final. Just a few highlights early on in that first half. Slightly edging things stats wise in that early chance to Adam Saki, which was put away, does mean we do take a 1 0 lead into half time, albeit we are going to make a few changes. Just struggling down that left hand side. Yet again, Herrera's picked up a yellow card. We'll bring Bok Ek on for him. And Jonata will come on for Mizkic as well again. Struggling out there on a 6.4. We'll tell the boys we're doing well. Could do better. And hopefully we can extend this lead going to Anfield for that second leg. 1-0 as we kick off the second half. And very early on here in the second half, we do have a throw-in right on the halfway line. And we give the ball to Jonata. Those new subs and big chance here for Dumbia. But that shot straight into the path of the English goalkeeper there for Liverpool. And Smith is actually a player who came through their youth grade a while ago. Then they sold him to Bristol as we get a header off there for straight to Smith. And they had to repurchase him off of Newcastle for £38 million after selling him to Bristol for £800,000. It's not too good a business there from Liverpool, but Smith does make that somewhat worthwhile, that fee, with those saves there. And it is still 1-0 at the 55-minute mark. And we've gone forward now to the 73 minute mark. Not too many highlights so far in this one, but we're going to make our last substitution. Lasana Dumbia did get that assist earlier. But he has gone down to a red heart, Bruno Costa, to come on for him. We might also take off playing for set pieces, which we did turn on early on in the second half and also stop playing quite as much down the middle with Liverpool also being quite narrow. We'll see if that works here in these last 12 minutes. Still with a 1-0 lead. And not too long off the back of those changes, we do have a highlight here with around about 11 minutes to go. And Liverpool are playing out from the back. Trent Alexander-Arnold is in possession as Liverpool try and sneak their way into our half ideally we at the very least hold on to this lead to take into that second leg coming up at Anfield 1-0 not a bad result but ideally would be a little bit more of a comfortable scoreline especially as so far in this game Liverpool have not looked overly threatening in this one that one chance around about the 10 minute mark but apart from that I think it's fair to say we have been on top and good interception there from Premsil Bok again here's a chance for Adam Saki to pick up a double, but Smith makes a really good save there. That looked like it might find the bottom right corner. Keeps it at 1-0 with about 10 minutes left in this one. We'll see if anything comes from the subsequent corner. Can't quite link up there with Basaroge. It's still 1-0 with 10 minutes left in the first leg of this Champions League quarterfinal. And we have a highlight here right on the 90-minute mark. Liverpool with a throw albeit Basaroge does get a foot in there for us. and We do win position back. We have told the boys to start time-wasting. Trent picked up a yellow card not too long ago. That could be massive for the second leg, second yellow card. And Trent Alexander-Arnold gets sent off. So Liverpool are down to 10 men, albeit not for too long in this game. But it does mean that he should be missing for the second leg. That would be a huge loss for Liverpool. And that might give us a slight advantage. Going to Anfield, good chance there for Saki as well. Comes off the post. With not long left, and now I think it's just going through the motions as Jonata has picked up a potentially little niggly injury there with that orange icon above his head. Hopefully that's not too serious, even if he isn't one of our starters. We are back on the attack again. Nice ball there for Adam Saki, albeit he was offside. Did look a little bit too good to be true. The opposition goalkeeper, though, is playing quite well in Liverpool. Uh, playing out from the back, we might have a bit longer here of added time off the back of that red card to Trent, as I said, that could be really, really big for that second leg. The vice captain could be missing for that one. We'll see if anything else does happen in this one as Chelsea grab a late 2-0 lead there against AC Milan. And the other tie, which could be of interest, is at the moment, we are on course to take those guys on in the semi-finals in tomorrow's episode. But a good solid 1-0 win there. Potentially could have scored one more goal, but I'll take a 1-0 lead against Liverpool going to Anfield also considering that Trent did get sent off late so I think he might be missing for that second leg when we do update the team sheets going into that one but that's a good result especially as I said with Trent being sent off with a couple of yellow cards late as we mentioned Chelsea are going to be 2-0 up going away from home as well so at the moment looks like it might be Chelsea taking on Volsinger in the semi-finals of the Champions League but unless anything happens 
in between now and then. We'll come back shortly with the team sheets from Anfield before that second leg with a 1-0 lead to Volsinger. And we are back straight into the team sheets from Anfield for the second leg. As we suspected, Trent has been suspended because of that red card. So a noble change there at right back. But apart from that, Liverpool looking very similar. But that is a big blow for them there. We are exactly the same as we were for that first leg as we take a 1-0 lead here into the second leg from Anfield. And we go forward to the 31 minute mark for our first somewhat bit of action in this one. Adam Saki picked up a knock early. I think we might play things safe here. A little bit of a risk with only a 1-0 lead, but Heiko Kunzi's done a good job for us domestically. Potential lower leg injury, so we'll bring him on for Saki nice and early. That could be a big blow, but hopefully taking him off this early will make sure that he's not injured should we reach the later stages of the Champions League. That's our first sub done. We are still 1-0 up with 15 minutes left in the first half. And that is half time in the second leg. No highlights there in the first half. We are slightly edging things stats-wise yet again, which is encouraging. And we do still have our one goal lead as well. So not too disappointed. Only 45 minutes left before we make another Champions League semi-final. Osnia Mizkic yet again struggling. Jonah to come on for him at half time yet again. Mizkic not quite on form it feels like since he come back from that injury in the group stages, but we're about to kick off the second 45 minutes, still with that 1-0 lead. And up to the 51 minute mark, we finally have a highlight here in the second leg. We look to play out from the back. Redenko Krolo has picked up an early yellow card in the second half, but that is a dreadful tackle from Carlson on a yellow card, but that is a straight red. And yet again, Liverpool go down to 10 men this time for a lot longer than in the first league. Off the back of that, we're going to play things safe. Pedro Lemos on for Redenko Krolo. 11 versus 10 for the last 35 minutes here, and we still have our 1-0 lead. And up to the hour mark, we have another highlight here, just that one highlight of the second leg so far, that dangerous red card, a shocking tackle there from Carlson, and Liverpool yet again down to 10 men, albeit still on the attack here. Bruno plays the ball for Benjamin Sesko, gets in behind our defence, and we concede against 10 men. Benjamin Sesko will pick up a goal. We will absolutely berate the boys for that conceding against 10 men. And just like that, Liverpool are right back in this tie despite being a man down and without Trent as well. Boy, that's disappointing. Sesko gets the ball over the top and Carl Wallen can't make the save there. Quite similar to the goal that Saki scored in the first leg. And just like that, all locked up with a half hour left. And up to the 80 minute mark now, it is still locked up. Not many highlights in the second leg. We told the boys earlier to stop focusing down the middle, especially with that extra man. Now we're going to up the tempo, go a little bit wider as well. And hopefully we'll start creating some chances here still locked up with just under 10 minutes left of the second leg. And about to enter the last few minutes of this one before extra time. We nearly had a highlight a few minutes ago, but I shouted demand more at the boys and that highlight did not get shown. So that was a bit frustrating, but we do have a corner here in Filippo Dinelli. With a header, but it just goes wide. Good chance for us there. It does look like, though, this one might be going to extra time against 10 men, albeit we do have a throw in here at the 93 minute mark. Liverpool try and clear that, but Pedro Lemos will retreat and get position back for us on the halfway line. This would be really disappointing for this game to even go to extra time, playing against 10 men, 1 0 down here against the 10 men of Liverpool, but we are still on the attack. Like a Tigere. Just keeps this in. We play a ball in there for Kunze. Good short passing. And Ben Venu Bayer yet again comes up. Big for us. That is a huge goal. And we might somewhat get out of jail here late. We've played pretty well. Just a little bit frustrating that Liverpool did score that goal just after they went down to 10 men. But thankfully, we'll just start time wasting a little bit here, albeit very, very little time remaining in this one. And that would surely be enough for us to make our way through to the semi finals. Yet again, lots of good short passing here inside the box. And Ben Venu Bayer just gets that pass Smith there in the bottom left corner. And thankfully, we do score in the second league. You can see the stats there. We well and truly did deserve a goal. And thankfully, we came up with it late. It took a long time, especially with Liverpool playing most of that second half with 10 men. In the end, I think their discipline has probably cost them there a few red cards in both legs. The one in the first league. Not for too long, but it did mean Trent was missing for the second leg. And then Carlson, early in the second half, they did still grab an equaliser. But thankfully, Ben Venu Bayer grabs a goal very, very late there in injury time. And we again will make our way through to a Champions League semi-final off the back of a 2-1 win on aggregate 
1-0 in the first leg at home, one all away at Anfield. Also a red card in the other leg date there to AC Milan, and that means that Chelsea pick up a 2-1 win. So coming up in tomorrow's episode, Chelsea versus Volsunga in the Champions League semi-finals. We'll just go forward a little bit now and see who's playing in the other semi-final before we wrap things up today off the back of that win over Liverpool very, very late and by 2-1 on aggregate. So thankfully we do get by the 10 men there of Liverpool and make our way through to another Champions League semi-final against Chelsea. We've gone forward a day so we can show you guys what happened in the second leg of those other ties in the quarterfinals. Juventus in the end, they did get run down by Man United at Old Trafford. So Man United go through 4-2 on aggregate off the back of a 3-1 win at Old Trafford. Man City also did win their second leg, but Arsenal did enough in that first leg, of course, with that 4-0 advantage that they do knock out Manchester City in the quarterfinals. So that means the semifinals of the Champions League this season are going to be between us and Chelsea and Arsenal and Man United. So we're going to be playing an English team in the final should we make it that far and we're also playing one in the semi-final as well as the quarter-final as I said us and Chelsea. Chelsea hosting the first league of that one that could be quite useful. The second league this time is being played at my arena and Arsenal with the first league at home as they take on Man United. We might potentially be on for yet another Volsunga versus Manchester United final albeit if we are going to make our way to the final we have to get past a Chelsea team which has looked pretty darn good so far this Champions League season of course in this universe Pep Guardiola is in charge of Chelsea albeit hasn't actually won a major honour with them just yet so it's kind of mirroring his current time in England in this save as well but they play a 4-4-2 some really good players in this Chelsea team Ortega in goal very good goalkeeper. They've got Graven Birch in the midfield. Benjamin Sagnier, a player I looked at a while ago, out on the left wing, quite a good French left winger. And also up front, Manning, a very good English striker. Phil Foden down there as well on this player stats page with the most assists as well. So quite a strong Pep Guardiola Chelsea managed team there. And as I said earlier, I think these guys so far this Champions League season have been the form teams. We're going to need to get past them if we do want to make our fourth straight Champions League final. But that will do it for today's episode. We just get by Liverpool, even though they did suffer a few red cards there in that quarter final. If you did enjoy today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel, also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. And until tomorrow, where we do take on Pep's Chelsea and yet another Champions League semi-final. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on and I'll see you then. Cheers.